going to take a closer look at the hips face inside the next turn and exactly what that means. As you can see here, Michael is keeping his hips from rotating towards the outside of the turn. That's what's really important. So let's slow this down and take a little closer look at it. Let's pause it right here. And you'll notice that the hips aren't facing where ski tips are facing. They're facing where skis are headed and they're not facing to the side of the hill, they're facing where the turns are going to be or even inside that turn. And same thing as he enters the next turn. The hips aren't facing where ski tips are facing, they're facing where skis are headed. Let's take a look at Marshall Hersher in the Beaver Creek GS. We're gonna slow it down and take a look at his hips right here. His hips are facing inside the next panel. He doesn't allow them to come around and face away from it, which allows him to enter the next turn in good balance. What's important is that the hips don't turn and face away from the turn or towards the outside of the hill or the edge of the hill. You have to maintain some discipline in tension in the midsection to keep the hips from coming around. What happens, or the big mistake made, is that someone will end up facing or letting their hips rotate away from the turn they're heading into. And if the turn is bigger, obviously the hips will turn and face farther across the hill. 